Hello everyone and today I wanted to take a look at this cheap compressor that I picked up on eBay which might be good for steam engines. Now this compressor is made by a company called, now I'm not going to pronounce it right, Xiaomi I think, I'll put it on the screen and it cost me £20 on eBay. So we're going to see what it's like and whether it is suitable for steam engines. So the compressor is, it is quite bulky and it is quite hefty but it's not actually that bad. So to turn it on you just open with the cord and it fires up. Now the front of it is a bit like an old Apple iPod and you've got different controls here. So this control is for light on top, got a torch there. You've got the di digital screen here to show you what PSI you're running at. And then by using this control you can switch between bars and PSI and level. So this is manual, that's if you're pumping up a bike tyre, that's if you're pumping up a motorbike tyre. That's you pumping up a car tyre, and that I think it's a basketball or some kind of sports ball, maybe. And that's back to manual. So, we'll, all you've got to do to turn it on is click the button in the middle. Yeah, it's, it is actually quite loud. It, I mean, it's not, it's not actually horrific, but it is quite loud. Just give off a fair bit of air. But we're going to start it easy when it comes to steam engines. The first engine we're going to try and run is this. This is a Mamod SE2A steam engine connected to a Let's Go chimney I've got. So it's going to connect an airline to this and see if it'll run it. It should run it, I don't see why it won't. Okay, so I've got the compressor connected to the engine and we're going to see if it runs. There you are, straight away. No issues there. Oh! Popped out the end of the compressor there. If I put the compressor here, you can see what pressure the engine runs on. Oh. Yeah. Got 9 psi there for the mammoth. Good nice weight there. You see it runs at about 8 psi. So, it, we can definitely confirm it can run a Mamod. Let's take it up a bit and let's try it on a Walesco. So this is the Walesco I'm going to be using. It is a Walesco G20, as you can see. So we're going to see if we can run it. So I've got the air connected to the blowdown valve for the boiler here. So just open this up, get the compressor going as well, and we'll see if it works. Got some air going to the boiler now. As you can see. And there we go, straight away. It runs quite happily. Yep. Yep, so the letter is running at 7 psi. Very happily. If I close this, you'll see the pressure build up, hopefully. Yeah, you see the pressure slowly build up there. Right. Very impressive. Let's take it up a bit now, and we're going to try it on an engine DIY engine. Here's engine number three. This is an engine DIY engine, which was sent to me. It's got like a UFO boiler on it. It's a bit of an oddball engine. But let's see if it'll run it. So you can't actually fix it onto anywhere, so I'm gonna have to hold it on there. But I'll turn the compressor on and we'll see what pressure it runs on. Had to stop it there because the compressor's about to wobble up the table. But let's see what pressure it ran on. Uh, about five psi, four or five psi. Not bad, not bad. Let's go to the next size up. We're going to try a Stuart. 
Here is the next engine. This is my Stuart S50, as you can see. It is possibly one of my favourite engines I've got. I think it's an absolutely beautiful engine. So, now you can actually blow this engine over just with your breath, so I've got no worries about it not running on air. So, let's try it on the compressor. No issue there at all. See, it runs happily on the air compressor. Let's just show you what the what pressure it ran on. About, about three psi. We call it three. But as you can see, it runs it happily. We're going to try now an engine that is quite similar to this Stuart S50. We're going to try a Cotswold Heritage Perseus engine. So here it is, my Cotswold Perseus. Very nice engine, as you can see. So we're going to connect this up to the airline and see if it will run. So we've got the compressor connected up. Let's see if it will run. Of course it does. Runs very well, of course. Again, we'll just have a look at the pressure. It goes about five to get it started, but it stays about three. It's about the same as the SSD, but very nice. Here's engine number four. Now, I don't really know what you call this engine. It's like the, it's the single cylinder twin valve engine. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. But we're going to go, we're going to connect, get this connected up. Now, this engine does have a fair bit of compression, so I'm not sure if it will run on it, but we'll see what happens. Let's give it a go. Oh! There we go. Runs very well. So, you can, we'll see what pressure it runs on. About four psi there. So it's a tiny bit more than the first piece of the Stuart. Pretty good, that. I'm pretty impressed so far. Okay, so we're going to move on to a beam engine now. This, I'll be quite impressed if it runs this. Because obviously, this engine actually does need a lot of pressure to run. If you, when I'm running my Stuart boiler, this actually can exhaust it, so I mean, I'll certainly be impressed if it can run the Cirrus. But I'm just connecting up the airline, and we'll see if it runs it. Close, but not quite. So as you can see, it could not run the Cotswold Cirrus beam engine. To be fair, the Cirrus does need a lot of air to run successfully, so I'm not entirely surprised. Just for a laugh, before we finish, let's see if it will run my Stuart Victoria. I hardly doubt it will, but we'll give it a go. So here we go. Oh! It does run the Victoria. Wow. Well, let's see what pre it ran on then. You can see we've got the compressor down here, so watch that gauge as it goes up when the engine runs. And we'll see what it runs on. That's a steady, steady 4 PSI. We've got to 6 now.
Well, it can run a Victoria. Very, very impressed. Slowly, granted, but it can run a Victoria. So, would I recommend this for the steam engines? I think for a budget portable compressor, which granted can't run for long, but it can run them, I think it's not too bad actually. Anyway, I bought this se granted second hand for £20. Brand new, they're about £40 I think, last time I checked. That could change by the time of you watching this video. I think not too bad. And obviously as well, it can pump up your tyres your, on your bikes, your cars, your vans, whatever. So, to be honest, for an all-round compressor, if you want one that can, you can take to shows to quickly demonstrate engines, or just to show your friends, I think it's a pretty good egg compressor, actually. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and let's start the Victoria to finish off. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it.